What's up, everybody? It's uh, Vashon Jones, uh, visionary of Fedora Outlier LLC, chairman of the United Statewide Coalitions for those with a disability. Um, a few months ago, there was a question that came in, and it was asking about the state of Georgia vocational rehabilitation. And the question was actually not directed to me, um, and therefore I didn't answer it, but as I stated in the description, a man with experience is not at the mercy of someone with an opinion. And so I wanted to weigh in after literally uh, 15 years of working with GVRA in all of its changes and moving from the Department of Labor to the Department of Health and Human Services and going through about six directors, um, closing out, you know, lots of cases, working with a lot of counselors, being a part of um, a lot of the board meetings, going to the SRC meetings, traveling around the state on my own dime, um, in addition to working with other state rehab agencies in other states from the East Coast to the West Coast. Um, working with government in general, from school districts to um, the Veterans Administration, um, teaching literally thousands of blind people how to use their assistive technology, traveling the world, um, being an expert witness in court, um, helping individuals master um, life. I think that I have a very important perspective on the current state of Georgia vocational rehabilitation, and it's me being completely honest uh, with the situation. Now, uh, the first thing is there's nothing wrong with Georgia vocational rehabilitation. And I know that's a shocker, but let me tell you the reason why there's nothing wrong with Georgia vocational rehabilitation because it doesn't matter how many counselors we have and whether they're specific to the blind. Dent, window, window. Um, it doesn't matter who's the director. It doesn't matter whether we have a deaf blind director, a blind direct, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's a government entity whose job it is to assist us as people with disabilities in our vocational rehabilitation. Um, there is no jobs. They don't have a list of jobs that you go to and they, they put you on. Um, so when people say my counselor hasn't done anything for me, if you're thinking that they have a job, they don't. Um, the biggest thing with Georgia vocational rehabilitation and the issue is a lot of times, 90% of the time, is the person applying for services. And the person applying for services is pretty much ignorant to what the process is, what the end result should be, and what it is that they're supposed to be getting from GVRA, right? So, for example, if your job is to assist me with my vocational goal, the key word in there is my vocational goal. But if I don't know what my vocational goal is, then there's no way for anybody else to assist me. Their job is to tell you what you want to do and be in life. So if you come to me and you knock on my door and you say, Vishan, I need your help. And I say, what do you need help with? And you say, I don't know. I, I just figured you had some help for me. I'm gonna be at a loss too. Now, you're eligible once you're accepted, right? So now you have a case, a case number, a case file, and you don't know what you want to do. So what is that counselor going to do? She's going to document your account monthly or whenever, you know, she gets around to it or he gets around to it. And that's all. Is the counselor supposed to be chasing you down with your goal? Absolutely not. 
is the counselor supposed to be looking for jobs for you? Absolutely not. The counselor works at your behest. Here's the one thing that I can guarantee you. I can guarantee it. I've closed out cases all over this United States. When you know what you want and you know where you want to get it and you can justify it, your case will close status 26 successful. Now, are you going to get everything that you want? Well, life teaches us that when you fill out what you want for Christmas and give it to your parents, nine times out of 10, you're not going to get everything that you want. But guess what? There's a good possibility that you're going to be a pretty happy kid. And the things that you didn't get that you stated that you wanted or needed, the goal is for you to become employed so that you can buy it. Now, me speaking from experience, I've had so many people in quote unquote my community talk trash about me, you know, think that they're stopping me in some type of way because they have some internet thing. Let me tell you something. When the government wants you, baby, <laughs> they want you and they'll pay handsomely to get you. So if you want to get government contracts and you want to be able to um, work as an assistive technology instructor, or if you want to be able to work in government, whether that's providing bids, um, which is very, very lucrative, whether that's working with the counselors, uh, building your, your resources, um, it's all doable. Nobody can stop you. Nobody has stopped me. I'm still here bigger, better than ever. Um, but the reason is when I got my case closed, the reason why I got closed is because I got super intentional about what I wanted to do. I was focused. I was direct. I learned how to justify I learned what the rules were, you know, the, the client handbook that they give you. Oh, I knew it inside and out. So much so that I could tell the counselor, look at it right there. You know, there it is in writing. And when you get that intentional about your life, it's your case. Now, what happens with the counselors if it's not enough counselors if there's not enough counselor there's not enough counselor you know people yell that stuff and have been yelling it for years it hasn't worked nobody's closing cases because you yelling and it don't matter how mad you get and you ball up your fist and you bring your little four people that's been saying the same crap for years to a meeting they just ignore you because you're rude and arrogant. Instead of finding out what the rules are, if you want to open a commission for the blind, because we can open a commission of the blind anytime we want, but don't think that the oppressor is going to give you the resources for them to stop oppressing you. Read the SRC guidelines and handbook and go open it. But if you don't have enough business savvy to know how to open a business, there's no way you can start your own commission for the blind. And going and talking to the next director and the next director, nobody's going to do it. Nobody's going to do it. Now, what I did is I talked to the SRCs, I'm sorry, uh, as well as the other commissions for the blind around the state. And they say, yeah, instead of balling up our fists, we rolled up our sleeves and we came up with a plan and we justified it. The same thing that a client has to do or a consumer has to do when they're closing out their case. And we form a commission for the blind. Now, 
just because you have the commissions for the blind doesn't mean you're going to have a great success rate. Look at South Carolina commission for the blind. Horrible. And I have a contract with South Carolina. Um, horrible. Why? Because of the ignorance of the client, the lackluster attitude of the people um, that work there, the stigmas of what blind people can do because they haven't seen it be successful. And so what do they do? They send you to the Industries for the Blind, great place, took a tour there, got to meet the people that work there from the top down, right? A man with experience is not at the mercy of someone with an opinion. I've been there on my own dime and dollar. So what do they do? They stick you in customer service. So what do they do? You tell them I want a Bluetooth speaker. They buy you anything. Why? Because you wasn't specific on what it is that you want, where it is that you want to work, and how you want to do it. It's your case. It doesn't matter how many counselors. We are short. It's a case. Anybody, any counselor can look at that case and move it forward. I got one person right now, their, their counselor is out on um, sick leave. When is he expected to come back? Six months from now, three months from now. Okay, well, do I need to be held up because my counselor assigned to me, assigned to me, is sick? No. Guess what? She has a boss and her boss has a boss and there's another counselor. Because guess what? The ones who want to close out their cases and make it happen, those are the ones that are being pushed through. Those are the counts that are being closed. Those are the cases that are being closed. Absolutely. The people who know what they want, know how they want to get there, and can provide the counselor with the resources that she needs to be able to take it to her boss to be able to justify closing out your account, your case. Does that make sense? Because what we've been doing hasn't been working. My goal 10 years ago before I started Fedora Outlaw, do you realize these people say you can't promote your business if you're the, man, get out of here, get out of here. Get out of here. Why wouldn't I promote my business You even have providers out there that would tell you, well, all you are is a contractor. Hell, that's all you are is a contractor. Right? Am I wrong? Are, are, are you not a CVI? Are you not a contractor? VRS, are you not a contractor? Savannah, are you guys not a contractor? much rather be a contractor than an employee and you would much rather have contracts. So listen guys, you guys, we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, been told so many different stories that are just not true. So when I say GVRA is A-okay, they good. We're the ones that are not. We're the ones suffering. I can guarantee you come Friday, they paycheck is going to be on the money. And if it's not, by the end of the day, it's going to be straightened out. And come the 31st, that check is going to be right. But guess whose check is not? You freaking guessed it. So this is Vashon Jones, Fedora Outlier LLC. And you guys know, what I always say, let's change, that means something different, the world, and let's change the world together.